Hello, visitor. Um, whether you're a subscriber or you just stumbled across this or you're coming here deliberately from a link, I'd like to welcome you to my channel and I thank you very much for visiting and taking the time to view what I post. Uh, we're going to take a look at Amiga emulation. Um, I do have a real Amiga. Maybe I'll demo, demo some of that for you um, in the future and show that off. But right now, a uh, big buzz in the Amiga community comes from Damien D over at um, English Amiga Board. Um, all the links will be down below in the description. So you can go there and um, find the link yourself and read about it. And if you want, request a link for a download. I know he is asking for donations now because his collection of games that is configured for the latest version of WinUAE um, is only possible due to Tony who is uh, the WinUAE developer and he's asking for a donation of 20 pounds for access to the download link and that money is going to be spread across to support the Amiga community. Some of it will be going to Tony, some of it will be going to other developers who have made all of the things um, Amiga related and Amiga fun possible. And I think that's a, a great way to help support the community. Kudos to Damien for doing this. Um, he was kind enough, because of my slow internet connection, he was, he was very kind enough to send me a USB stick containing his WinUAE collection that he's been um, sending out to everyone else. So thank you for this. I've held off for two weeks because of computer issues and stuff. So I have not even plugged it in yet. Um, I wanted to take this video as sort of a first reaction, although I, I, I can guess what my reaction is going to be. It's going to be pretty much the same as everybody else's. They're all blown away by what you've done here. So we're going we're gonna to plug this in. Uh, we're going to take it from a newbie perspective. Uh, you just downloaded all your files. You want to install them. Damien has done a great job with the script. He's made it super easy. And he's answered a lot of questions on the Amiga English board. And we will go there and take a look at that later after we're done um, installing this. And kind of just having a look-see to see what it is what it's got, how it works, and some of the changes that he's made since this release. Um, so let's go. Let's have at it. I'm going to plug it in. I hope you. I hope, I hope there's no viruses on here, buddy. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so here we go. Plug it in. We'll look for it. Here. here it is, Kingston. And he's got a setup.exe right here. I don't know if you'll see it on camera. And hopefully, Shadow Protect is recording my screen so I can, um, when I edit this later, you'll have a clear picture. So there's a bunch of uh, a bunch of files in here. One of them is the compressed RAR file with the self-executable. He's got a WinUAE shortcut in here, and he's got a WinUAE.reg file, which is uh, registry settings for Windows, um, and his setup.exe to automatically decompress and set everything else up for you. Uh, my understanding is that it's going to install to um, the root of your C drive in a folder called WinUAE. This will not affect any um, current installs of WinUAE, as far as anyone has been able to tell that's done it before me and you can certainly move the directory somewhere else and we're going to test that later because i don't want it on my c drive i'm going to be moving it to my f drive and um, checking for functionality so let's go ahead and um, double click on setup.exe uh, yes we'll allow this to go and here we go move this a little closer maybe you can read it it says it's extracting data and you can see here the winwar self-extracting is going so I'm guessing his EXE is probably just um, like a batch file uh, that's triggering everything else. Not sure he made it into an EXE, so it's a bit more than just a batch file. Don't know how long this will take. I'll probably cut the video and come back um, when it's done. 
until then I'll babble I'll babble while I drink my monster sized cup of tea obviously not at the same time I'm not that talented Okay, so now that the um, extraction is done, we can press A to view important WinUAE keys. Sure, why not? We'll press A. It tells us to show the GUI is F12. To quit, it's left control F11. To reset, insert home with left control or Windows plus menu with left control. Kind of like the control alt delete, it's a three key combo. Turbo mode equals end plus pause, and the help key is page down. Um, oh, and there's a bunch more. I'm not going to worry too much about this. I usually go to F12. I don't care. You know, I just pop up F12. This stuff I'd have to memorize, and these days memorizing things, I don't know. Okay, so all of this is done. Technically, I think he said it puts a WinUAE shortcut on your desktop, which I have right here. So... Here's the WinUAE desktop shortcut. Now we're going to go see the, we're going to go take a look at the C drive. And there it is. How big is it? 11.8 gigs. Okay. Well, first let's see if it works. So we're going to double click WinUAE on the desktop, see what happens. Ah. Oh wow, now I see what all the what all the brouhaha is about. Okay, so this is the WinUAE screen. We're on the configurations tab, and he's got a separate configuration, it looks like, for every single game. That's part of this collection anyway. Um huh. let's see something here. Let's go to in UAE, configurations, 2,291 items. That is quite a collection there. 2,291 items in there. Okay, well, we're not going to check them all out, <laughs> but we'll scroll through. He's got screenshots here. Now, uh, Damien actually did these screenshots himself manually. He went into the game and took the screenshots and organized them all. He did not do this as an overnight project. This was his love and his joy for over 10 years of building his personal game, WinUAE um, configurations and setup. So he's tested everything almost through to completion there's some games in here that you know there you can have glitches and stuff there's ways around it things to try and fix but for the most part these are the um, reportedly some of the most stable things you'll find so let's let's just uh, casually go through some of these see his check out his screenshots um, I wonder if I could make this bigger no. okay so that's a fixed size oh ah, look at that nice Battle of Midway. There we go. 3D pool. Awesome. 3D world boxing. World soccer. Ha! Huh. Okay, I'm going to start A10 Tank Killer. Yeah! Our abandoned places. Abandoned Places 2. Afterburner. Remember that? Yeah, I remember that. That was really cool when it first came out, but it aged quickly. I don't know if I could bring myself. Agony. Nice. Airstrike. Airborne Ranger. Akira. Cool. 
Never did finish that game. Alpha Chicken. Alien Breed. No, yeah, Alien Breed. Alien Breed Tower Assault. Alien Breed 3D AGA. You know, just for the heck of it, I mean, at least you just start picking Alien Syndrome. Nice. New World of Lemmings. Awesome. Altered Beast. Uh, Amiga CD32. Amiga CD, Amiga CD32. Xbox controllers. Huh. Full motion video cartridge. Okay. Uh, unreleased demos. Another world, of course. Another world lost level. I never finished this game either. Shame on me. One of my favorites. I get really far and then I get stuck. I don't. I refuse to read the, the cheaters and stuff. The walkthroughs and the trainers. Arcade pool. Arkanoid. Yeah, I like Arkanoid. You know, it's the port. Armageddon. Uh, awesome. Bat. Bat 2. BC Kid. Back to the Future. Badlands. Nice. Oh, Barbarian. Oh, I'm going to have... I got to try this. Oh, I loved this game. Ugh, let me grab my controller. Okay, so we're just going to click load and start. Now, he does make mention of changing your default screen resolution so that the aspect ratio is maintained. He also uses um, scanline filtering. So, there's that. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to do that here. I'm going to leave the aspect ratio incomplete. Player one is on. No, we don't want to do any of that. Player two is on harm. No, we don't care about that. Um, how do I continue? Oh, well, I guess I just click the mouse button. Man, those dark lines actually show up a lot on video. I've got, um, I think this is an old screen, so I think I got dust on covering the bulbs back there. May have to crack it open and give it a clean someday. Okay, things are pretty active. We got drive lights. Oh, there we go. Um, I think F1 is for one player, single player. Die. Oh, come on. Ah, screw you. I'm the guy on the left. I'm the white guy. I'm the white guy attacking the dark skinned guy. I don't know why. I would have I would have changed that myself. Oh come on, man! He's kicking my butt. Ah! <laughs> Took his head off. Nice and clean. Why'd I gotta make it light guy versus dark guy? No. Uh, I go for your head! Son of a gun! Come on, you son of a gun! Stop kicking me! I'm gonna take your freaking head off, jerk off! Ah! At least you didn't get my head. Oh, green guy drags me off. Man, I wanna remake this game. I wanna remake this game for in Unity. This game be a hell of a lot of fun. Oh, I'm dead. That's it? Yeah, I guess so. Hey, now. How do I put my name in? There we go. Sin. Enter. Should save it. Okay. Um. 
I guess we'll go to F12. Oh, now we can't... Okay, no. I guess we have to quit it then. Which would be... I should have memorized those key commands. I don't remember those damn key commands to stop it in the middle of the game. Uh, crap all Alright. I guess if we just load another... That. Okay. So this is going to become useless. Delete. Yes. Now we're going to go to the C drive. We're going to grab the WinUAE here. We're going to go cut. Go here. I'm going to put up my emulation. Right click. I will put it. I'll do it right here. Paste. And then we'll wait for that to copy over and see how that goes. Time. Let's go back here and see what the key combinations are if he has them posted. Here's the games. Where are the important keys? Okay, so here's all the stuff on his website that it covers anyway. Um talks about <coughs> Tony talks about his setup he shows uh, pretty much what I showed there in the video here uh, tells you about the custom ADF HDFs custom CDs a few WHD load games with major bug fixes current list of games is here so you can get a complete list from um, eab.abime.net um, shows what it looks like as it's decompressing. Oh, he tells you what sizes it are. Winrar, good, removes all stuff, copies, yep. Um, hmm, hmm. Talks about floppy drive emulation speed. You can uh, crank it up to 800%. 95% of games will work with it emulated at 800%, so that could speed up boring times. Uh, Toggle warp mode on and off with end pause. All games are configured to run full screen mode. 60% of the games run in a resolution of 640 by 480. 40% of them run at 720 by 576. Talks about the keyboard ports, how they're configured. He has, he tells you he has scan lines enabled um, and LEDs enabled. Also, in the game directory, you'll find cheats, hints, level codes, manuals, maps, strategies. Look at that. Oh, it's almost done. No way it's going to take five hours. Um, so what, let's go into WinUAE. Go into games. Uh, let's see. What does he have for or a variant? Anything in there? Oh, hints. Yeah, look at that. There's a hints.txt. Ah, there are a couple of hints. The best find is to roll into an opponent until you need to decide a team and kick them. Roll into them again, kick them. Repeating techniques until your opponent has been defeated. Ha! Huh. That's exactly what he did to me. Cool. Um, let's just pick another game at random. Benefactor. Benefactor level codes. Ah. Yep. Look at that. He is chock full of surprises in here. We'll just pick another game at random. Scroll down. Da, 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 da. And then... Chambers of Shaolin. Ah, uh, no hints, no walkthroughs. Okay, so that game, I guess, it doesn't really... Either doesn't have any, doesn't require any. Mm, Cortex. No, oh, that one neither. Crystal Dragon. That one neither. 
Oh, you know what? What about Dragon's Breath? Do you have that in your collection? Dragon's Breath. Oh, I love this game. I'm going to have to find the manual online. I would definitely play Dragon's Breath again. Holy cow. Nice. I think the file copy's done. So let's go back here. Let's go to my F drive in emulation. Uh, we will take this. I'm going to go into my toolbar shortcuts, emulation, open folder, Amiga shortcuts. We'll come here. I'm going to go create shortcut here. I'm going to call it F2. Damien D. Okay. Now, let's see if it works. Let's see how well it works. I want to see if he has his keyboard shortcuts in here still. That's the fact. Important keys. Here we go. I'm going to turn on my other screen and leave this open. Actually, I'd probably be better off putting it right in front of me. Down here. Okay, bring up the GUI, toggle full screen and window, it's control F11, quit menu AE, it's control F11, okay, that would have been to quit it, reset the Amiga, alright, well let's check my shortcut now, emulation, Amiga, menu AE, Damien Day. And just to confirm, it's no longer on my C drive. C drive Win UAE is gone. Sweet. So, yeah, there are way too many games here. Oh, you see, we got Battle Chess. I wonder. He's got to, if I go into Battle Chess here, um, uh, emulation, emulation, oh, emulation, Amiga, hey, where are my Win UAEs? It's here. Open the folder. Amiga shortcuts. Let's go. So this is battle chess we're looking for now. This battle chess you have to have. Uh, you really need the codes to play that. And in here, hmm, I don't see it. Maybe you don't need them for this. Maybe it's cracked. I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, start. Load. Start.
This was my absolute favorite chess game on the Amiga. Okay, do I... Oh, you just hit enter. And you can play. So it takes its own sweet time. Okay, that works. So, um, wow, it pushed my shortcut screen away. So now I gotta, I think it was Control F11, right? Yep. And now we're back here. Okay. So, let's review some more. So he's got a lot of lot useful links here. He talks about the important keys, obviously. Uh, a fact about his collection. It's customized his way. Um, he does tell you set up a custom resolution of 720 by 576 if you want the game to play in the correct aspect ratio and look fairly authentic in full screen, depending on much of a stickler you are. Um, Game configuration fixes, so he's got a fix for body blows here. According to this, I think you just, yep, you just download this zip file and extract it into WinUAE configurations. We'll do that now. Um, I'd much rather do that in my Amiga section. Amiga, I have a Damien D folder. I may have already downloaded it. I did. So I already downloaded it. Um, so let's go here to my emulation, which I did not click on. Emulation, Amiga shortcuts. Go to my Amiga folder. Go down to Damien D. We'll double click body blows. And this gets extracted to F emulation when you AE configurations. Replace. So now body blows is fixed. So there's a couple of additions in here after you download the base package. Um, This talks about things that'll be, that these are games that were added since release, so there's two more, Krypton Egg and The Manager, that we can add if we like. Um, and he tackles some issues some users reported. Wow, this is, um, this is everything. And he's got a, a link for donations here, and he explains what he plans on doing. Um, so, please do, go, pick this up, add this to your collection. It's really quite fantastic. Um, lots of information here. I hope you enjoyed that. I know I'm gonna. I'm gonna be going in here and I'm gonna be playing quite a few of my favorites. Um, I have, you know, I have RetroPie, I have Amoebian on Pi, I have a real Amiga with WDHD load games, but. I'm tired of picking a game and finding out it doesn't work or there's a glitch or there's something wrong with it. And Damien D's collection seems to resolve like 99% of that. You might go in and find a game that's a little glitchy um, because you picked a different option or something uh, than, than what he has configured. So is it 100% perfect? Probably not. He's already fixed a few things. He's already you know, um, given some advice on how to get certain things to work a little bit better, but it is probably the most stable collection out there, and at, you know, at almost 2,300 games, what is it, 20, 2,291 games, I think it was, uh, I think you'd be able to relive your Amiga gaming days quite well, and, um, so hats off to you, Damien. Ah! <laughs>
<laughs> and um, and thanks, man. I hope you enjoyed this little rundown. And um, I hope to see you back for some more uh, interesting computer-related videos. Have a great day, fellas. Later. <laughs>